I'm Shuichi Nakamura from Tohoku University. Um, uh, I'm interested in uh, bacterial infectious diseases. So my present affiliation is uh, Department of Engineering, as you can see here. Sorry, uh, point two, point two. Yeah, so it's better. <laughs> uh, yeah, but my original uh, measure was agriculture, as a, especially veterinary microbiology. So, yeah, you know, at the time I have interested interest. Uh, why some specialized bacteria can cross the border of species? So, so uh, you know, the same bacterial infectious disease common between humans and animals. This is called zoonosis. So, to understand uh, the mechanism of such infection, so especially in case of motor pathogen, we need to understand how such you know, a motility can be used in the situation, in a practical situation. So, uh, many researchers uh, address the problem using some animal model. So, uh, they use the uh, wild type and the mutant bacteria, and then they get the result. Uh, for example, the motile deficient uh, mutant can't kill the animals. So this is a great evidence uh, for linking the motility and pathogenicity. However, uh, we have no information about what kind of thing occur within the body. So, therefore, I'd like to know um, the role of motility in the infectious disease. So, we st I studied such a job. So, uh, the, today's talk, our title is Motility Dependent Pathogenesis of the Spiral Kids Bacteria. So, therefore, I, the, uh, at the beginning of this talk, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, background of bacterial motility. And then, uh, uh, second to as a second topic, I would like to introduce uh, the word is the spiral kids, zoonotic spiral kids. Um, so, and then the red spiral is one. Uh, you know, genus of the spiral kids. And uh, the third, this is the main topics. So I would like to talk uh, our recent result about the association of raptospiral motility with their pathogenicity. So uh, yeah, first about bacterial motility. This is a uh, dark, dark field microscope image uh, of salmonella. So you know salmonella, foodborne bacteria. So this is electron uh, microscopic uh, image of some you know, type femurium. This is a major species of the server of the salmonella. Yeah. And uh, you can find, uh, observe the uh, such a tail like structure. This is the fragile filaments. Actually, they are peritoricus uh, bacteria. They have multiple, multiple fragile per cell. So during swimming, such a multiple fragile make a bundle. So you can see now bundle. Uh, fragile filament. So their speed is about 20 micrometer per second. So this is about 20 times of their safety. So they're good swimmer. So uh, this is a uh, computer graphic um, uh, uh, showing the fragile motor. So each fragile filament is, as you know, linked with the basal motor called the fragile motor. So this fragile motor composed of rotor and the, uh, uh, about 10 uh, stator units. So theta unit is also work out of uh, ion channel. So uh, this motor is ion driven motor. So a proton or sodium ion, um, how to say, now uh, translocated uh, from the outside to inside. And then, so this protonation uh, can change the uh, state structure, uh, this related to the torque generation. So, uh, uh, I have been uh, studying about the Samurera and the Egrafir model uh, to understand how talk generation uh, occurred and something. However, today uh, my talk is about <laughs> Sparkis. Uh, this is a uh, uh, you know, Sparkis member, you know, several uh, you know, genus, so Borrelia. The most famous species is Borrelia bugdorferi. It is a Lyme disease sparrowcase. It is very important, especially in the US. Uh, the, mm. And uh, uh, the sparrowcase genus and Toriponema. This is 
uh, this genus contains tryptophan, a pyridine. This is a causative agent of syphilis. You know, this is worldwide well, sexual transmission um, diseases. So today my talk is about the Raptospira. And uh, this is a uh, general structure of spirochias. Uh, quite different point uh, uh, um, feature uh, in comparison with the uh, E. coli and other externally fragile bacteria is this spirochias have a fragile within the cell body. Actually, they're beneath the outer membrane within the periplasmic space. Therefore, the spirochias fragile is called the periplasmic fragile. However, uh, fundamental structure of fragile model is almost the same with the, uh, that of E. coli and others. So, they, therefore, we can run from uh, such a uh, uh, bacteria, model bacteria about the fragile model structure. All right, and, and uh, this is uh, uh, my colleague uh, uh, yeah. uh, take an image uh, using cryo tomography. So it, you can see that this is yeah, it's very difficult to see. However, uh, this thick filament is periplasmic fragile. So and then this outer membrane, OM, and this dashed line indicates the uh, peptidoglycan layer. So and then you can see the clear inner membrane, cytoplasmic membrane. Uh, this part is cytoplasmic, uh, cytoplasm. Yeah, actually. So. Of course, as you can see, the very the thick filament is it, you know, exists within the very very narrow periphery space. <laughs> you can find the bulge, uh, the contact part is you know, really you know, maybe pressed by the fragile filament. No, yeah, next. So uh, this figure shows now uh, swimming speed of various bacterial species. I, I'm happy if you find uh, your favorite species uh, from among this. E. coli, salmonella, and Vibrio, and something. So this MO1 is a marine bacteria, as it's from ocean. Uh, so the very, very fast swimming speed is 300 micrometer per second. So. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous slide, so the swimming speed is 20 micrometer per second. So in comparison to this bacteria, seems to be very slow. However, they also a good swimmer, actually. And then in comparison to such externally fragilated bacteria, you know, the swimming speed of spikes member is uh, slower, actually. Like this in, in right view. So about 10 or 5 micrometers per second. However, if you show uh, the you know, pairwise uh, you know, relationship between the swimming speed and cell body or fragile rotation rate like this, so the relationship between these two uh, parameters is almost the same. Um, the same means the slope is uh, 0 0.1 micrometer per revolution. This means uh, uh, the distance, swimming distance, by one revolution of the uh, cell body or fragile, fragile load. Yeah. So therefore, the maybe the efficient uh, swimming efficient is hmm, almost the same, you know, between uh, among this bacteria. Hmm. If you like to see detail about the uh, divers of uh, swimming in. So the things uh, please see in my recent review. So yeah, uh, let me move to uh, the talk on uh, Raptospira. This is that with a micrograph of Raptospira swimming in the really viscous, uh, high vi highly viscous uh, environments. So I added 0 0.5 my, uh, 0 0.5 percent of methyl cellulose to the media. However, now uh, this shows a very, very smooth translation. This, if you uh, magnify this one, so ten times slow motion movie. Therefore, the actual moving uh, movement is yeah ten times faster than this. So you can see the asymmetric shape, right? So spiral shape and the hook shape. 
and you can see the uh, the fast movement of the bright spot here. The bright spot uh, correspond to the uh, coil shaped body. So uh, uh, with the rotation of the piece, uh, this uh, coil body, so you can find uh, the movement of the bright spot from the anterior side to posterior side. So uh, first, I'd like to explain about the morphology and the self structure of left spira. Uh, this is left spira. Um, actually, this is a new species. So <laughs> yeah, you, know, you cannot distinguish <laughs> between this. <laughs> what, what is a new one? However, this is a new species isolated from soil. <laughs> and uh, you can find uh, such a banded end. And uh, it's difficult to see. However, you can see the uh, bright spot here so, and this is crowd electron micrograph and the, this is fragile filament and balance point this is contact contact point uh, of the fragile filament with the outer membrane and this coil shaped main body is called protoplasmic cylinder uh, pc yeah. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, skipped image of the cell structure of left spiral. Uh, left spiral has a two fragile, one fragile uh, per, per end. Mm. And this fragile length is too short to overlap here. So you know, only end side, uh, this limited uh, part is bent by the fragile filament. I, I mentioned, <laughs> I now said bending, right? Uh, the, you can see the banded end uh, in the, such a microgal. This is related to the shape of the fragile filament. This is isolated fragile. This is curved shaped. Therefore, if you if the, uh, such a curved fragile uh, exists within the cell, so uh, the mechanic, mechanical stress bends the cell into the hook shape or spiral shape. So hook or spiral is determined by the torque, uh, actually the direction of the uh, rotation. This is theoretical prediction. So uh, I measured the rotation and uh, swing, swimming in the previous study. So this is um, the, uh, the same movie uh, uh, as the, uh, the no. I, I show you the previous right? So uh, this is a schematic image of the uh, swimming mode of the red spiral. So this part, you know, PC, is a right-handed helix. So and uh, spiral M is a left-handed. So hook end is of course hook. So uh, to swim in this direction, so right-handed helix PC should be rotated in clockwise direction when viewing from this direction. And spiral end, this is left-handed, therefore they need to, this part needed to, uh, need to be uh, rotated in opposite direction, counterclockwise like this. So, and then uh, gyration speed of SN, uh, spiral end is uh, about uh, very fast, you know, 50 to 100 hertz. And uh, uh, PC is almost the same, and HN is a little bit lower, uh, slower than these two parts, because this is a big, very, very big bending part, so maybe friction uh, from the viscous uh, media is large, so maybe the uh, consequent uh, speed becomes slower than these two parts. And then the relationship between swimming speed and rotation rate shows uh, in case of spiral and the PC show the same correlation, therefore uh, we think these two parts uh, are related to the swimming uh, behavior. And H end is not directly uh, contribute to the uh, swimming uh, behavior. And and then the, oh, we need to think of uh, talk about to understand the mo motion mechanism. So in case of uh, external fragility bacteria, this is very simple. So it's a fragile filament rotated in uh, counterclockwise. Uh, Severally, it should be rotated in opposite direction uh, for summing, uh, for zero sum uh, balance. 
However, uh, in case of spark, it will be complicated. So uh, PCH uh, will be rotated by combination of these two fragile filament, uh, fragile rotation. And after this uh, two rotated PC in uh, CW clockwise rotation, these two projects should be rotated in CCW, counterclockwise direction. So actually, now uh, the mm, the current in the current uh, research, it's difficult to uh, prove the zero sum uh, motion from the uh, experimental result uh, because uh, maybe our uh, theoretical prediction about the now, uh, drug coefficient is not so now uh, accurate. So, maybe accurate uh, estimation of the such a drug is very important. So, uh, move to uh, drug to move to the left spiral system. Now, uh, this is uh, this is caused by the left left spiral. So, our uh, left left uh, left spiral in fact dives now in memory. Of uh, species, for example, of course, humans and monkey, dog and rat, mouse and uh, bovine, uh, are many <laughs> uh, pig and something. And uh, they live in the uh, various different environment, soil and fresh water. However, they dislike and uh, ocean. So. And so, uh, natural host is rot, rodent. So. And the uh, left spiral live in the kidney, colonized in kidney, and shed with their urine uh, to the environment. And if some, uh, for example, human uh, touch such a contaminated soil or water, so they will be infected with the uh, uh, left spiral. Uh, this is percutaneous infection. I mean, this means through the uh, skin damage. And then uh, the bacteria, uh, the red spiral, uh, disseminated within the body uh, by blood stream, and um, finally uh, move to arrive at the specific organ, for example, lung and kid, kidney and liver. In case of liver, they break the uh, uh, liver tissue and uh, uh, finally uh, cause the jaundice. This is a uh, typical uh, uh, symptom of the left sclerosis. So motility is an essential greatest factor. This is a typical result, uh, a recent result uh, from other group. So this is no multi mutant data. This is wild type data. So this is survival rate of the hamster. So, and if the left spiral lack motility, survival rate 100 percent. So severely, uh, considerably uh, apparent, so attenuated. Therefore, the motility is very, very important for left spiral. So uh, you know, this is the main topic. You know, so association of the left spiral motility with personality. So I'd like to talk about uh, two uh, parts. First, part of personality infection, and then Next is adherence and movement over tissue surfaces. So this is our related paper. So first, uh, percutaneous infection. So to investigate the um, association of motility with the percutaneous infection, we designed a very simple uh, third chamber. Uh, within this chamber, uh, there is a border uh, interface of the liquid phase in, in agar. So uh, this situation resembles uh, the uh, skin damage exposed to the contaminated uh, water. So at first, at the beginning of the experiment, uh, spiral gate is here, liquid, uh, liquid phase, and then with time, they move to the other phase. So in border, sorry, and let me change. Uh, well, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd like to show the movie. It's a real time movie. So uh, they penetrate uh, into other phase. 
and switching the uh, same direction uh, frequently and if they yes they change the route and change the route and finally penetrate deeper <laughs> right uh, we uh, measure such a uh, behavior uh, using such a uh, methodology and uh, we are determined the three points simultaneously tracing the movement like this so yeah yeah so uh, this is result uh, in rickets uh, sometimes uh, the spar uh, the spiral kids change the direction however basically uh, they uh, smoothly move one direction However, at the interface of the rigid and agar, they change the same direction frequently like this. This is a uh, uh, sequential images. So in rigid, very uh, uh, short time, less than one second. However, during one second, so they change the direction like this. So this is a uh, uh, reversal frequency measured from the movie. So at the, at the border, so uh, reversal frequency significantly increase. So we think such a reversal, frequent reversal is interpreted as a trial and error. So, so uh, dermis is very complicated, complicated uh, structure, fibrous, fibrous structure. Therefore, if uh, the spark is uh, inside it, they are one end to the dermis. Probably a fast wire, maybe they cannot uh, move deeper side. <laughs> so, uh, try and uh, error uh, around them, around the spark gate to search uh, more you know, easier route for invasion. Like this. <laughs> so, maybe therefore, such a uh, try, and, uh, try and error by freaking. So is very very important for their effective penetration. Yeah. So uh, we also uh, think the importance of the force mm, to penetrate such a uh, viscoelastic milieu. So therefore, we try to measure uh, the swimming force mm, by using such a uh, optical uh, to the system. So in ideal. It's better to measure the speed, uh, the uh, force at the border, at the interface of the agar and rigid. However, it was impossible because uh, probably near the border, uh, I, I, we didn't check actually. However, probably the uh, same gradient of agar uh, exists. Therefore, uh, such an agar gradient uh, disturbs the trapping. And therefore, uh, we uh, measure the swimming speed in the in just uh, water, simply like this. And we, we attach the uh, bees uh, to the uh, spiral kit body and track the bees and uh, measure the speed like this. So surprisingly, um, their swimming force was very, very rough, the bears powerful swimmer. 30 times of the swimming speed, uh, swimming force of right, equal right, that's 16, uh, about 16 picoliter. This is a very, very hard job, however. <laughs> My student, Keiko Abe, was a skilled experimentalist, so <laughs> he catch the swimming rapid spiral <laughs> and measure you know, an individual cell, so 24 cell. So average is about 60. And then uh, we uh, could measure both uh, simultaneously uh, measures the swimming force and swimming speed, and we could ex estimate the power you know, f times v. So uh, the value is the three uh, like this, and this is uh, almost the same with the fragile rotation power. You know, uh, produced by the equal rate. However, uh, important point is uh, that this is the same with the fragile rotation problem. So this fragile rotation need to rotate the cell body, of course. 
it gets equal, right? Therefore, final swimming uh, power is this value. Therefore, the two order difference. Therefore, I, I don't know exactly in the physical explanation, you know, theoretical explanation. However, for the relapse spiral is like a fragile <laughs> pyramid, right? So therefore, they don't need to rotate such a large object. Therefore, uh, maybe this is very good for uh, uh, swimming force, uh, swimming, I mean, the power, maybe. And another explanation about the powerful swimming is uh, the motor size. So Morgan BB uh, uh, is uh, working on the uh, third motor uh, using cryo EL. And uh, he, uh, his group uh, uh, applies the, the structure of the types different species of bacteria. So he measures the diameter of the rotor. So if so, equal to 20 nanometer ring size. We have real 21, uh, in, contrast, in contrast to these species, Sparky's ring size is larger, significantly larger. So uh, from this value, uh, they estimate the torque, motor torque using this equation. If so, Sparky's uh, motor torque is larger than equal y, double. Therefore, probably uh, there is no experimental evidence about the value. However, probably the motor tool is larger than EGRI. So, uh, next, uh, uh, the adherence and movement over tissue surfaces. First, I need to uh, explain about the crawling module. This is the surface motility of left spiral. So uh, this, this is real-time uh, uh, replay, and uh, these two left spiral attached, anchored on the grass surface at this point, this point. However, they can move smoothly. And if you uh, add the CCCP, this is a chemical uh, proton for inhibiting fragile rotation, this crawling motility completely stop. And then if you remove the CCCP from media, recover, resurrect it. Therefore, this crawling is driven by fragile rotation. However, it's difficult to understand why they can uh, move even after touching on the surface. So uh, we think this crawling is very important for infection. This is swimming in liquid media. This is crawling on grass surface. And swimming probably important before touching on the uh, tissue surface. However, after adhered on the tissue surface, crawling is required. If they just touch on the surface, they cannot penetrate between cell, right? Hepatocyte and something. So crawling is required to break the host tissue. The first, uh, we try to measure the crawling motility. Uh, this is very tough. In this experiment, we use the, such a mutant, FCPA. Duated mutant. Uh, this is different difference between the Y trap and the delta FCPA fragile. These two strain has a different shape of fragile. Y type, as I mentioned previously, uh, in the previous slide, uh, the fragile filament uh, show the curved shapes. However, delta FCPA fragile show the straight. This is, FCPA is a part of the fragile filament of the uh, red spiral. This is red spiral specific fragile protein. Uh, if they re, uh, uh, wrap this protein, uh, the uh, 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 filament becomes straight. Therefore, uh, the banded end uh, is lost and they show the, such a straight. However, they have fragile, therefore they can move However, uh, the speed is slower than the wild type practice. 
Now, the reason why we use this one is we'd like to know the this part, spiral, is required for probing. So, uh, in case of wild type, uh, the PC, this part, rotation is strongly correlated with the crawling speed. However, spiral does not correlate with the speed, crawling speed. Uh, therefore, we conclude that the full crawling spiral shape M is not required. Only PC uh, contributes to uh, crawling maturity. And FCPA, of course, uh, shows a very, very strong correlation between their rotation rate and crawling speed. Therefore, uh, P only PC is required. This part is required for uh, crawling. So, interesting point is now the efficient. Uh, I mean, this is swimming speed uh, case, you know, swimming uh, speed and rotation rate ratio. So we I measured uh, their uh, motility in different uh, uh, viscosity. Oh, please note uh, the slope. I mean the uh, translation distance by one revolution. Uh, in this case, wild time about 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and SCPA just the speed is slower than the white time. However, uh, this slope is the same. You know, 0 0.6. This is consistent with their pitch length, 0 0.6. This means this crawling motility is sleepless movement without any sleep. Very tight interaction between solid surface and the cell. However, swimming speed is slow with 0 0.06. Very, very sleepy, 90% sleepy. So, uh, some uh, uh, many biologists would like to think that swimming is very, very effective uh, with a uh, efficient, not so high efficient. So, so uh, yeah, uh, this is, yeah, uh, we uh, visualize the surface mo movement uh, using size three, uh, and then, so uh, it's very different, uh, sorry. Uh, and, um, uh yeah need to option move to uh, this movement it's difficult to see but uh, rotation of the uh such a uh bright spot or floral spot right this means a uh, rotation of the uh of the surface okay so then we attach the bees on, uh, on the outside of the assembly so so interestingly bees are rotating <laughs> like this, and move along the salary. This means uh, we, we use anti-LPS, uh, liverpool saccharide uh, antibody. Therefore, LPS and some other adhesion move freely <laughs> along the salary. This is a very, very interesting uh, feature of the rat spiral. Uh, Sometimes uh, they change the anchoring point as far as here. Next, here. So uh, this means uh, some anchoring point uh, is very important for uh, movement on the surface. You know, sometimes they change the anchoring point on the surface. So such a smooth movement shows that probably the multiple point attached on the surface. However, to move here, not only attachment, but detachment is required. So maybe a balance between adhesion and detachment is very important important for crawling maturity. This is a model for grinding and <laughs> crawling. Uh, if, uh, we have no information about the molecular basis of crawling. So uh, in the future, I'd like to know, the, you know what is the uh, specific adhesion for, uh, for uh, crawling and something. So you know, what is bio biological significance? It is very important uh, for considering the relationship between the morphology, uh, so sorry, motility and pathogenicity. So uh, a recent uh, no, no, paper a publication maybe answer this question. So uh, yeah, this one. This rapid spiral move on uh, the cultured 
uh, kidney cell. It is not on the grass surface, uh, animal or cell surface. So they, uh, so uh, we would like to know actually such a motility uh, is related to uh, such a pathogenicity on the uh, cultural cell. Yeah, uh, we set up, uh, we designed such an experimental uh, um, uh, well, setup and uh, we measured uh, several different uh, rep spara on the divers. Uh, animal mammalian cells. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes, uh, this is our uh, first result. Our uh, steady state analysis of the uh, spike dynamics, dynamics of the cell surface. So, this is a model. Uh, uh, we uh, grouped uh, the red spiral condition into three uh, different state, swimming state, and adhesion state, and crawling state. Sometimes the uh, difference between the adhesion and the crawling is very complicated, but adhesion means uh, adhered, however, they cannot move uh, on the surface, just adhered. Crawling means uh, adhered and movement. So uh, we measure uh, the fraction of the cell uh, in various uh, different pairs of the rat spara and animals. R uh, means rat, D, dog, uh, monkey, mouse, uh, cattle, and human. <laughs> so, and uh, this is manure means uh, cerebral name. Uh, this is pathogenic rat spara, cerebral, two different cerebrals. This is control, non-pathogenic. So as you can see, uh, they show uh, no significant difference uh, about the swimming to adhesion transition. However, uh, uh, transition between adhesion uh, and crawling, uh, no person showed uh, a significantly lower value of the equilibrium constant. Uh, this means that uh, adhesivity uh, is almost the same between pathogens and non pathogens. However, crawling is very, very strong uh, in case of pathogen. However, non pathogen cannot crawl on the cell surface. So we, we uh, uh, measure crawling speed. However, no uh, significant difference uh, between pathogenic and non pathogenic. Therefore, our conclusion is speed is not important for uh, pathogenicity. However, we found uh, that uh, such a, how do you say, uh, movement persistent, growing persistency uh, between non pathogenic and pathogenic. Actually, now, non pathogenic, even non pathogenic, uh, they can move to some extent on the surface. Therefore, we measure uh, the persistence of the crawling using uh, sorry, uh, MSD analysis. This is volume motor analysis. So maybe physicists uh, know uh, the, the meaning of MSD slope. So this is wrong uh, uh, this, uh, indication. So uh, if the MSD slope uh, is around one, this means of diffusive motion. If the value close to two, this means a strongly biased to any direction, unidirectional motion. So therefore significant difference between the uh, pathogenic uh, strain and non-pathogenic strain uh, in the MCD slope. This means pathogenic species show the persistent and uh, directional motion on the cell surface However, non pathogenic species, even they can move on surfaces, uh, uh, their movement is very diffusive. So they cannot disseminate on the, on the cell surface by crawling. So, insight into kind of host uh, preferences of red sparrow can be discussed using such a data. So, the y axis is crawling persistency. Uh, this means uh, ABC swap and X axis is equilibrium constant and 
transition between attachment adhesion to chlorine. So uh, around here, uh, high virulence pair uh, exists. Uh, no infection, and this is maintenance force. So this means that asymptomatic pairs. So high virulence pairs show the high score uh, in both uh, chlorine consistency and uh, this equilibrium constant between adhesion to chlorine. Uh, therefore, the challenge of a conclusion is uh, probably on uh, the appearance of the rectal spiral is closely related to the chlorine motility on the cell surface, especially persistency of the chlorine motility. So, next subject is we, we did uh, uh, in this study, I, we didn't check, we didn't investigate the host response. Therefore, next project, uh, we need to address the host immunity. Uh, I mean, the, uh, how the host cell uh, responds to the erectus spiral uh, infection, for example, the cytokine uh, production and sort of thing. So, and then, as I mentioned in the previous slide, uh, we did not know the molecular basis of the chlorine motility. So there are uh, many abandoned uh, out to uh, molecule of the surface molecule in the rat spiral, uh, pump and LPS and some other membrane protein. So we would actually know what kind of, what types of uh, molecule is required. So uh, the determinant of the chlorine motility. Yeah, this is a summary of my talk. So uh, I address the uh, rectal spirosis uh, using the same uh, biophysical experiment. So fast topics and pathogenic infections. So uh, our conclusion is the such a high uh, frequent uh, reversal of swimming is very important for trial and error for searching the easier uh, infection route. And on the cell surface, maybe persistent uh, growing is important. So uh, quantitative uh, uh, motility parameter in rigid, uh, the swimming speed is seven micrometer per second. Uh, the swimming efficiency, I mean the uh, distance, uh, swimming distance by one revolution of the cell is about 20%, 10%. So not so high. So, however, within the blood, uh, within the blood track, blood stream is about 500 micrometers seconds. So maybe swimming speed of uh, the sparky is not effective within the blood stream. Uh, however, such increased reversal at the inter interface of the gel and and the uh, rigid is will be effective and growing speed on the cell surface is a 25 micrometer per second, uh, much faster than the swimming speed and the ratio of the swimming, uh, sorry, uh, growing is almost 100 percent. Such effective motility is very important for their uh, pathogen pathogenicity. The uh, final uh, message, so in, in the stock I didn't uh, address the part of uh, motility, bacterial motility in the air, air viscoelastic medium. However, uh, we need to think it uh, because a very uh, abundant uh, visco viscoelastic situation uh, exists within the body. Uh, for example, mulching, uh, mucus layer uh, of, of the surface of uh, some, uh, for example, intestine or something. So uh, this is uh, my previous uh, study. And I uh, measure the uh, the spike motility in uh, different uh, uh, concentration of the physical elastic agent or beneath periodic cell. If so, uh, the swimming is very uh, smooth. However, uh, with the increase of the uh, increase of the concentration of polymer, uh, the swimming speed is well. Uh, uh, considerably uh, 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 faster. Therefore, maybe uh, such a uh, polymer uh, viscous agent is very, very important for their effective motion, especially uh, for our uh, spirochists. So, in the future, we need to uh, actually the uh, underlying physics of such uh, effective motion in the polymer solution 
is is not fully understood. So in the future, uh, physicists should understand topics. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, thank you for your attention. So, if you are interested in my talk, please see my recent review about uh, bacterial motility and spark. Uh, thank you very much.